You're somebody who's looked a lot at the media landscape and how the media behaves and a kind of a new development for everyone in this campaign, campaign operatives in the media, is WikiLeaks. Members of the press have been, have been involved here too, and which makes it uncomfortable as well. Is that going to change how the press, inter how press communications and how they communicate with campaigns? I mean, I guess one of the things that has changed this year. I mean, for, okay, so in 2008, what was unusual was the way that Obama used his own mediums to get out his message, right? Uh, he kind of bypassed the media as the traditional gatekeeper of information between uh, the candidate and the public. This year, what I think Trump has really changed is how overtly hostile as a candidate he's been willing to be to the press and actually making them just as much of a punching bag as he has Hillary Clinton. Now, candidates have made war with the New York Times and other liberal media elites forever, but there was something so much more vicious about the way that Trump did it this year. Which is ironic given how, what got him there in the first place in the primaries, right? That's right. Well, uh, so here's a funny story. When I was covering a Trump rally last summer, he did his usual shtick where he says, the media, he would point to us, a bunch of dishonest scumbags, the worst people I've ever known, boo. Everyone screams at us, he leaves, he's on his way to the airport, my phone rings, it's Donald Trump. Jeremy, what did you think of the rally? So after all of that, after whipping the crowd into this angry frenzy, he still wanted the still, adulation of the still, reporters covering. One of the second source. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure I did a good job? <laughs> all right, man. Thank all you. Right.